Hello, everyone. My name is Jin Yu. I graduated last year, and I'm a young faculty in Shanghai Jiao Tong University. I'm glad to introduce our work to you. This work is entitled A Hardware Software Co-Design for Efficient Intra-Enclave Isolation. Inter-ICX Enclave, as a popular TE, can enhance both confidentiality and integrity for user-level computation even when facing untrusted system software. SGX allows an application to construct one or more enclaves inside its address space, and reduces the TCB of an enclave to only the CPU and the enclave itself. One suggestion on SGX programming is elaborately partitioning an application into different parts and isolating the security-sensitive parts in one or more enclaves. However, such a programming model may suffer from the overhead of cross-boundary interaction, and elaborate separation requires more programming efforts. Another favorite programming model is deploying all the needed third-party libraries or the library OS in an enclave. Then, unmodified applications, including containers, can directly run in an enclave. Yet, this programming model blows the TCB and may endanger the security code. For example, once a third-party library containing bugs is imported to the enclave, attackers may leverage the bugs to attack the enclave. A natural question is, can we achieve the advantages of both high security and ease of development? One candidate solution is multi-enclave isolation. Some prior efforts have deconstructed a program into different enclaves. Meanwhile, the needed libraries and the library OS are deployed in each enclave. But such a solution faces the overhead of cross-enclave communication, and the overhead of enclave's construction may sometimes degrade the overall performance. Observing this problem, intra-enclave isolation is also studied. When typical work, instruments, and enclave memory access instructions to enforce bound checks and thus establishes isolated domains within an enclave. Nonetheless, instrumentations cause non-negligible runtime overhead and enlarge the code size. Moreover, the isolated domains must be continuous in memory. Our work aims at achieving intra-enclave isolation with efficiency, security, and flexibility. We find that intra-MPK can be a natural fit to facilitate intra-enclave isolation. Intra-memory protection key is a hardware feature for intra-process memory isolation, which has been introduced into Intel CPU since 2019. It offers highly efficient intra-process memory isolation by supporting memory domains inside one address space. Specifically, InterMPK can divide the virtual memory space of one process into 16 memory domains by leveraging previously unused 4 bits uh, of the page table entry, each memory page is tagged with a 4-bit domain ID and exclusively belongs to one of the 16 domains. A new PKIO register is introduced to specify the access permissions. A non-privileged instruction called WRPKIU can update this register to change the access permissions. Notably, this new instruction not only can execute in the enclave mode directly, but also takes only about tens of cycles. By combining INTSGX and INTMPK, we propose light enclave. Our work supports building multiple light enclaves within one SGX enclave. Light enclave can partition the enclave memory into different memory domains. Each light enclave can exclusively occupy one memory domain to store its private data, like uh, heap or stack. 
For example, right hand click A and right hand click B take domain 1 and domain 2 respectively. The code sections are always executed only to the right hand clicks. The interaction between two right hand clicks is through a lightweight gate, which is a piece of code for changing the control flow as well as the memory access permission. Each hardware enclave contains a secure monitor. As its name indicates, the secure monitor is considered trustworthy and can access all the memory domains. It works as a manager, for example, creating light enclaves on the fly. The domain access permissions of a light enclave is its unique identity. We ensure that the PKIU register always stores its identity during the light and clave's execution and thus prevents it from accessing other domains. Like before, developers can use IDL to declare interfaces between the enclave and the outside application. Likewise, developers can use the IDL to declare interfaces between light and claves. The interaction between light and claves requires switching PKIU for the control flow transfer and can use a shared memory domain for data transfer. By default, light and claves are mutually distrusted, yet hierarchical light and claves are also allowed. It. For example, light and claves C is more privileged than both D and E and can directly access their private memory. However, there exists one challenge that the trust models of MPK and SGX do not match. Specifically, MPK requires trusting the underlying OS to faithfully configure the page table with correct domain IDs, while SGX usually assumes an untrusted OS. Although a compromised light enclave or compromised OS alone cannot steal the security sensitive data from one light enclave, the collusion attack is possible. For example, as shown in the slide, the untrusted OS can modify the domain ID of one page in light enclave A to the private domain of light enclave B in the page table entry. Afterwards, the malicious light enclave B can steal light enclave A's secure data. We propose non-intrusive hardware extensions to solve the trust model conflict between SGX and MPK. The general idea is the OS retains its capability of configuring MPK domain ID in the page table, while the extended SGX hardware will validate the correctness of domain IDs during both enclave initialization time and runtime. We propose a set of extensions such as for enclave memory access, enclave mode transition, and enclave page swapping. And we think the proposed extensions can all be implemented through the SGX microcode without significantly modifying the hardware. Due to the time limit, please refer to our paper for details if interested. We conduct the experiments on real Intel CPU while adding the emulated cost of our hardware extensions. We also integrate lightweight, uh, we also integrate light and clave into two SGX library OS, Oculum and Graphene SGX. Either Oculum abandons the bound checking in Oculum. Either Graphene SCX creates light enclaves instead of hardware enclaves for multiple enclave processes. We evaluate the performance of GCC compilation to show the performance improvement brought by light enclave, GCC spawns ch children processes for compiling programs. Either Graphene SGX optimizes the process creation time and thus achieves 5 to 10 times speed up compared with the original Graphene SGX. Either Oculum eliminates the overhead of boundary checking and show 20% uh, to 50% performance benefit over the original Oculum. To conclude, Light Enclave is a hardware software co-design for efficient intra-enclave isolation, which can uh, divide an SGX enclave into 
isolated light enclaves to reduce the overall TCB with low runtime overhead. Thank you for your listening.